hey, it's Reaper. And since some of the comments suggest there's someone out there seeing me sit down and pop up when they press play and going, fuck, that guy, god damn it. So I'm, I'm doing this without Bridget just solely to piss that person off because, hey, you told me you didn't like me, so fuck you. So we did the, uh, a, God, I can't even talk. We did a tribute video to Jim Kanye, Jim Sadist, as I guess he was known uh, best, or Jim Lasagna. It, it seemed to be a, a, a second runner-up, which was kind of strange to me because of that. Uh, well, if you haven't seen the video, spoilers, the Minch 7-inch and, and story about Minch. And that's precisely why I'm here, because I want to do a few little follow-up things. Uh, I, had, I saw the video again, and it's been a while since I've uh, seen it since it went posted, and uh, it reminded me. I was like, oh, cool, I have a uh, poster then to thus prove that there was indeed a band from Japan called Tribute to Mitch. As here on the Nunslaughter Damned in Japan, uh, Japan, Damned in Japan uh, tour uh, poster. This is really cool. So we went to four different cities. I'm not going to do the close up here, so I'm going to just do it uh, YouTube collector style here. But as you can see here in uh, Tokyo on July 7th, there off to the uh, left or your right, whatever the hell, uh, there is tribute to Minch there at the bottom. And that was, uh, I believe, Naru from uh, Butcher ABC, who also played. Oh crap, I already put it away. One of those gigs as well, or, or two of those, one of those gigs. So, uh, they obviously were really into Minch, and, and I know Jim definitely was very flattered uh, with that. It, it, you could just sense it, because he wouldn't, he wouldn't admit to such things, <laughs> as, as some people probably know him and his personalities. But one of the other things that was kind of funny I wanted to do another follow-up with was, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of Crucified Mortals things on my brain trying to do that stuff. So this show kind of... Uh, reminded me just doing this episode I reminded of this show so a lot of the shows that we did for Cleveland pff, hell I think maybe all of them Jim booked and one of the cool things that he would do for shows that I always felt like man Jim always knew how to cool bring a cool like just make a cool show and bring a, a fun crowd and so on was he would make shirts that um, for this one I think this one particularly, I remember at that gig making that shirt, he's like, and you know, I'm going to tell people, you know, first, however many people that come to the show uh, are going to get a, a free shirt. I was like, you know, that was great because, you know, he knew it too. Just like now modern day with everyone just clicking like and not paying attention to anything that could be really cool that they wouldn't be stolen from, especially music wise, because that's the way it's going is that, you know, we kind of felt the way, same way for shows, that not everyone sticks around for the show. They want to get there late or whatever. So, hey, get your ass here on time. And I think actually it was show a denim uh, vest, and then you got a free shirt as well. So get on time, bring a denim vest, then you got a free shirt with BAM! So as you can see there, there's this devil guy over the city of Cleveland, which was obviously where the show was. There on the back, the logo of every band that played the show. This is the castrated dick logo of Crucify Mortals. What is that guy talking about? Uh, if you watched my last week video, that you'll understand. But anyway, so there's all the bands that were there. And uh, this was at uh, the, uh, well, it would be now, it was then Hi-Fi. I think now it's the Foundry. So this would have been at the Foundry uh, in technically Lakewood. So Jim should have put the skyline of Lakewood because that's impressive. And Cleveland's is too, I guess that instead in the shirt to be technical but he didn't and so this devil guy though that's jim so he took a picture and uh hey scott i doubt you're watching but if you are hey uh you might remember this share a comment and say you are so wrong reaper this is how it really went but there so there's jim took a picture scott from uh schnauzer took a picture of him and jim was that was kind of his layout guy at least in the 2000s for jim and uh he he made him the devil guy here above Cleveland um, and I don't know if indeed he's actually shirtless or if it's just his face but there there it is and uh, I remember it, it, it kind of was the as Jim would s sit there and bask in the glory of his creations or just say it period he'd be like oh that's great it's pissed or that's satanic and satanic always meant that that's great everyone was pissed even though they were happy satanic everyone was satanic even though they weren't and 
that was definitely pissed and satanic. And that I wanted to share with you the Friday the 13th, 2007, Cleveland, not right, Lakewood, I don't know, one-off show tour, Sathanus, Crucified Mortals, Castrated, R Rabid, and Meltdown. And anyone that was at this show, I don't think Meltdown even, no, Meltdown did play. But they became something else. But then they left right afterward, I think. But anyway, that was the lineup. Jim did a great job, and that is him on the shirt. And I thought that would be a fun follow-up, especially to get there and just keep talking and piss that one guy off. That's pretty cool. It's only been one person. 